The name of the dish I'm going to cook is lamb parmentier. We source the lamb from, I've got a butcher who's been work, we've been working together for donkey years. So, so I'll trust him. I'm not, the, I'm not the type of chef who says, oh, you know, the best lamb is from Wales or from Scotland or, or from Japan. I don't believe in that, you know, because you've got good lamb in a lot of places and bad lamb in, even in Scotland or Wales. Or, or so I, I, I just do trust my, my, uh, my butcher to, to provide me the, what is best at the time of the year. The, the lamb, the lamb comes from the, the best end of lamb. We use the best end. I think it's, it's better than the, than the saddle. We debone the best end and we just roast the fillet. With a, you could do it on a bone if you want, but uh, there is no, no, no real point to do that. And uh, uh, it's just ro plain roasted, keep pink, yeah? give a, a, a nice rest to make for the, for the, the juice to, to mix again in the meat to, to stay there. The way we make the pork puree is we boil the potatoes and uh, you smash them through the, through the sieve and uh, we uh, add a, quite a bit of butter and cream, <coughs> properly seasoned and that's it. Sometimes, you know, when you eat, you know, you don't think about health, uh, conscious people, you know, for dishes, you just, uh, you got to enjoy it. You know. The sauce for the lamb is uh, made with, from the bones and the trimmings of the lamb and we make a, a quick uh, jus. Serve on, on, uh, on a lamb mince. Top it with mashed potato. A fillet of lamb is sliced on top of it. A, a jus, a lamb jus. Few drop of uh, garlic oil on top, and, and that's it. 